What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Easter. And also, since I'm covering Arbor Day as well in this video, happy early Arbor Day. Arbor Day is on April 29th, come to find out. So in today's video, I'll be reviewing two holiday-themed peanut specials. First, it's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown from 1974. And then it's Arbor Day Charlie Brown from 1976. Hope you enjoy the video. First off, it's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown. It originally aired in 1974. And this is the Easter themed holiday special in the Peanuts series. We got characters getting ready for Easter and Linus is going around saying that there is an Easter Beagle who is the one who delivers all the eggs to the kids instead of your traditional Easter Bunny. Other characters are skeptical because some of them remember hey isn't this the same guy who talked about the Great Pumpkin and look where that ended so is there really an Easter Beagle? We'll have to wait and see. And so characters are getting ready for Easter. There's this funny story with Peppermint Patty trying to kill her eggs. And then Marcy keeps messing that up because she wants to cook the eggs instead of boil them. And that was just a funny running gag throughout the entire special. Uh, my favorite of which is the whole thing with the egg soup. I mean, that got the biggest laugh out of me. Mainly because who wants to eat egg soup? Egg soup just does not sound that appealing. Marcy, I don't know what goes through your thick head sometimes, but here we go. There's also a side story where Snoopy buys Woodstock a birdhouse because Woodstock, he's complaining that he's too cold, especially when it's raining in his little nest, and so Snoopy gets him a birdhouse. And that one's probably like the least interesting subplot, but there's still some funny bits with that because, you know, it's Snoopy and Woodstock. And I gotta say... I love Vince Giraldi's music throughout these Peanuts specials, and we always talk about the great stuff he did in the Charlie Brown Christmas, the songs he provided in that, but this funky groove that he gives Woodstock in this special absolutely slaps. I absolutely love that. This is a highly entertaining Peanuts special. I enjoyed seeing these characters once again. Uh, getting prepared for Easter, some of the gags that follow with that, and even some jokes that are pretty crazily ahead of its time, like characters go in the department store and they're commenting, wait a minute, it's Easter and they already have their Christmas decorations up. Wow, that was ahead of its time. There's Christmas decorations year-round in a lot of stores these days. Especially, they even have Christmas-themed stores that are open year-round, I've noticed, in some cities. So, wow, Charles Schultz, you are a genius at some of this humor. I think my only like real negative with this is I enjoyed the payoff, but the final joke was weak. I wish there was a better joke to end the special than the one we got, but... It's still a lot of fun. I did highly enjoy the Easter Beagle, and it is a very entertaining peanut special. I hadn't seen it in so many years, but I found the DVD recently, and I was excited to check it out once again, and it didn't disappoint. It's still a highly enjoyable Peanuts holiday special. Now moving on to the second one, it's Arbor Day Charlie Brown. This is the bonus episode that was released on the Easter Beagle DVD that I recently picked up. This one aired in 1976, and this is all about Arbor Day. You may be wondering, what the heck's Arbor Day? If you're like me, I've never even heard of Arbor Day. I don't even know what this is. This special does a good job at shedding light on a not as celebrated, not as popular holiday, and kind of like raising awareness of it while still having the Peanuts charm. So if you're unaware of what Arbor Day is, if you haven't seen this special before, it's pretty much an environmental type holiday which involves the planting of trees. That's a simplified version of the Arbor Day. Arbor is another word for tree, come to find out. I've never even heard that word once in my life. you think it'd be called Tree Day, but I didn't come up with this holiday. But 
In this special, Sally learns about Arbor Day, and she decides that she wants to plant some trees. And so the Peanuts gang decides to plant trees and kind of do their part. But unfortunately, they plant trees in Charlie Brown's baseball field, and that pretty much backfires on him at the end of the day, especially Charlie Brown, who's about to host a baseball game between him against him and Peppermint Patty. And there are some funny stuff related to that. Once we get to the baseball game, and they're playing this baseball game, and now this garden that was grown because of what the other characters did, there was actually some pretty funny creative visuals with that. And honestly, Lucy probably has one of the funniest things I've ever seen her involved in. It involves a bet between her and Schroeder. I'm not going to spoil the joke if you haven't seen the episode, but it was absolutely hilarious. And it pretty much fits Lucy's self-centered character to a T. And I absolutely loved it. This is a very underrated Peanuts special because not too many people talk about it. I wasn't even that familiar with Arbor Day until this special, and I thought it was really good. I did highly enjoy this. It did a good job of explaining the holiday for people like me who were unfamiliar with Arbor Day while still giving it that Peanuts touch, doing a well-meaning event that kind of backfires on them. Like, like maybe if they found the place where they can grow trees, if they find a field somewhere, that would have been better. But Charlie Brown's baseball field, definitely not the best place to plant trees. And that was what made the special all the more hilariously entertaining. So wrapping up my thoughts on both of these peanut specials, it's the Easter Beagle and the Arbor Day special are two really good peanut specials. I did highly enjoy both. They're both charming. They both complement the holidays incredibly well for both Easter and Arbor Day. And they both serve as a great double bill during this springtime season. I do highly enjoy both of these Peanuts specials and I highly recommend them if you're a fan of these Peanuts specials. So I'm actually going to give Easter Beagle and Arbor Day the same rating. I would give both of them a four and a half out of five. They're not my personal favorite peanut specials. Like, I don't think these stack compared to Charlie Brown Christmas or even The Great Pumpkin. Those are still my two favorite peanut specials. But these two are still really, really good, and I do highly enjoy them, and they are definitely worth checking out. So that wraps up my video on It's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown and It's Arbor Day Charlie Brown. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you've seen either of these peanut specials, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of them. Did you love them? Did you hate them? Were you mixed on them? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!